Hey, Coach, good to see you. Hey, um, just curious, as you get set to start the season here, the I guess the weirdness factor of starting this season as opposed to starting the bubble just a couple months ago, how do they compare? Um, I, I mean, I, I don't know if I would term it as weird. It's just where we are. You know what I mean? I, I, I think we all have a part to play in this thing. You know, sports has a way of bringing uh, healing and, and normalcy to society. Um, so for us, it's like whatever we can do to stay safe, stay healthy, it, it helps um, our society as a whole come together. You know, people um, in all areas of life at, at one time or another have to adjust to something. And um, right now the whole world is in this adjustment. And so I just think that's something that we can, you know, bond together in. Um, we had to do it in Orlando where it was a, a different circumstance than anything we've ever dealt with. And, and we got through it and um, we're doing the same thing right now. So I, I think it's a time for us to, to grow, to bond, uh, to learn, uh, to be there for one another. And um, that's a good thing, you know, that we can, you know, tuck tail and complain and, and, and whine about stuff, or we can be there for one another and, and learn and uh, show a great deal of su support globally. And, and that's something that I, I don't think I've ever experienced in my life. And I'm learning a lot. Appreciate it. All right, next up, we have Dwayne Rankin with the Arizona Republic. He'll be followed by Kellen Olson. Yeah, coach. Uh, just, 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 just for starters. Uh, talked with Dario obviously yesterday, and, and he's obviously trying to work his way back, trying to see if everybody's going to be available tomorrow for you, including him, uh, Chris, McHale, and and, and Abdel. Um, we'll find out more tomorrow. Abdel for sure is uh, not going to to play. He hasn't done anything in, in a few de few days after that fall. Um, We'll have a better picture of it all tomorrow. And just to um, follow that up, obviously you got the addition of uh, Kaminsky, saw the official uh, roster sent out. And then, but I wanted to ask that in two parts. One, what did, you know, Motley do or, or, or bring? Cause it looked like he was an activity guy. And then we know what Frank does, but what, 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 you know, what is it about him? You know, you like bringing him back. Well, Motley didn't do anything wrong. Um, I know that doesn't sound like much when the guy gets released. Um, we just felt like there's a bit of duplication with him and with he and uh, DJ playing at that five spot. And then Frank is a guy that knows our system. He knows what we do. Um, when you look at the bigs that are out there right now, and as it relates to continuity, uh, we thought it'd be a good idea to bring someone back that knows how we play, how we operate, um, just to, to help with all the, the newness that we have here. And, and, you know, Frank was good for us uh, before he went down last year, and, and we haven't forgotten that. And just following up on Frank, um, uh, I know I just probably got to go through protocols and testing and all that kind of stuff uh, before he can play. Uh, how do you see him uh, fitting in um, and maybe how, how many – you know, how many days is it going to take to get him comfortable to where you feel like he can go back out there and play for you? I have no idea on either. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I know they have to, like normally if you, you claim a guy, he'd be in the gym like as soon as possible um, with the newness and, and how we have to adapt. Um, based on the first question I was asked, you know, he, I don't know how many days it's going to take for him to join the team. Um, and then after that, it's like you get a read on his cardio. You get a read on, you know, what he remembers as far as, you know, schemes and new plays. But I, I think he, you know, I, I referred to him as a connector last year in that second unit. And that, that's something that is valuable to us. And so we'll see where he is when we get him. All right, next up, we have Kellen Olson with Arizona Sports. 
Hey, Coach, uh, some of this was out of necessity last year and in the bubble as well when, when you played three guards together, and you, you've got a lot of guys who are going to deserve playing time this year. I just want to get your overall thoughts on that look when you feel like it's appropriate and, uh, and so on. It's always funny how you guys know who deserves playing time. <laughs> I, I, I'm guessing, I guess. Well, I think the, the thing that I looked at last year um, one, the guys we had, but two, just watching what OKC did, did last year with three guards, um, put a lot of pressure on defenses. You know, in this new NBA, it's not so new anymore, but you rarely post up guards. And so you can have smaller guys on the floor and not have to worry about that guy getting posted up. Um, so it, it came from, one, the talent that we had on the team um, and you guys remember, we, we had a couple guys, a couple of our rotation guys out. So a lot of it was necessity. <laughs> and we just, you know, had to scheme and play hard through it. Uh, but you're right. I think it can be a weapon for us. Um, there's going to be times where, you know, the guys that might be effective in certain areas of the game may not be effective with that lineup just so we can put three ball handlers on the floor. And so that, that would, you know, you could see uh, Chris, JC and Book out there at the same time with, you know, Cam or, or Jay and DA, you know, to your point. So I think it can be effective for us in pinches, but last year it was, a lot of it was out of necessity. And again, just watching OKC do it with Chris and, and Shay and uh, Dennis last year. All right, our final question is gonna come from Dwayne Rankin with the Arizona Republic. There we go. Okay, coach, uh, you know, you, you talk about uh, watching games and obviously the season uh, opens tonight. Uh, will you be watching either one of those games or both? And, and, and what, what will you look for or even try to try to, try to pick up uh, in, in those games? Yeah, I mean, it's, I watch as a fan. I mean, I'm like everybody else. I'm, I'm happy to see meaningful games being played. Um, the start of the season is, is a monumental accomplishment that the league has, you know, achieved. You know, it's, it's, it's been hard to do what they've done. I don't think people understand that. Um, everything that goes into just having a practice, it's a lot. You know, from the testing in the morning, uh, waiting for your results, you know, all of that stuff, doing it every day. You know, it's our way to, you know, be able to add to the healing of society, like I said. And then as a fan, you just want to see basketball. And I'll watch as a fan, and then I'll watch to see if I can pick something up. Um, a play call, uh, uh, an adjustment. Um, you know, all the teams that are playing tonight, we got to play. And so I'm watching and scouting and all of that, maybe a bit differently than a normal fan, but I enjoy watching other teams. And just to follow that up, I know Durant has played in the preseason. Um, this has to be his first regular season game in a long, long, long time. Um, when you see him making that, making this kind of return and look like he's uh, picked up right where he left off. Having having worked with the guy, uh, you know, how, how, how did you how do you feel about that? Seeing seeing him be able to come back. I, I'm. I don't think I'm any different than anybody else. I'm <clears throat> as happy as anyone to watch him come back and play. I, I know how much he loves the game. I know how hard he works. Um, you know, having spent time with him on USA Basketball and in OKC, um, you know, he ranks in my top five players I've ever been around as far as commitment to the game and the work he puts into the game. Um, I could sit here and tell you story after story about just practice time with him, you know, how important it is. And so a guy like that, who 
absolutely is committed to the work and the craft and the player development and the uh, all the things that go into playing to see him be able to get back to 100% health and playing again. Uh, I'm just happy for him. Um, I genuinely love him. Um, he's a PG County guy. We come from the same area. His family went to my high school. And so there's a, a biased attachment to Kevin. And I'm um, just really happy that he's back playing again because um, he's, a, he's a credit to the game of basketball. Um, you know, in, the, in our league, the NBA and globally.